Welcome back. Today let's talk about day trips. What you have here is a set of a pot. We use it we use it for camping and we use it a lot on day trips. And I also have my stove in here. So let's talk about this uh Cedar Summit pots. As you can see, uh, you love the fact that the handle itself folds into the top and it keeps the lid from falling. You got rubberized, ha rubberized handles and all you have to do to open it is swing it and right here you can see that there is a notch in here so it just goes in and then you just lock it in place. Okay, so let's lock it in place. There you go. You got a rubber tip in here and again the strainer and what you have is a two set of bolts and this is not included this is uh, something separate that we bought you got a dish cloth you got two of this inside so let's put that aside and let's open the small one so the small one same thing swing it over and then lock it in place uh, inside you have two cups in here uh, you got a sleeve so if it's hot and of course you got the cover so sort of a sippy cup okay here you go to open it all you have to do expand it and then swing it back in place and then there you go so let's give it a side now these things would be useless without a stove and the stove that we have here is a generic stove uh, it's a cheap one that we found on Amazon so let's still open it up here you go you got some adapters in here so you can use it for example this one you can use it in propane if you want to and let's open it up we've used this thing all summer and we do like it you can see that it has a braided hose in here okay and this connects to the uh, isobutane okay here you go isobutane and it's very easy to operate all you have to do is expand expand this you got three of them okay expand there you go. Now all you have to do is put on the top. And I, I like the fact that there is a hose that keeps this main stove away from the fuel. Because I don't really want the fuel underneath. It's just too tall for me. I want it low. Especially if it's windy, it helps a lot. Now this got this got an igniter in here. See? See that? There you go. So we're gonna test that. Now I am indoor. Uh, for safety purposes, I have my window open and I have my exhaust running, and this is a commercial exhaust. I prepared to do this outside but it's just too noisy outside so let's test this thing again when you store this thing make sure you keep the cap back on and it's just easy just okay. turn it clockwise there you go as you can see this thing has a regulator built right here okay you can see that there is a you can see that okay so you make sure that it is off by turning it clockwise all the way okay so let's try to ignite this okay let's try to ignite this all you have to do Turn this counterclockwise. 
and then there you go. Now you can see you can put it down to simmer or you can increase the flame just like that. So let's turn it off. There you go. Turn it off. And again, this is very short. Just want to share to you the setup that we use when we're going out on every day trip. So thank you for watching. If you like what you see, uh, please click uh, like and subscribe. And we appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.